Are you seeing this error when you try to run your Selenium tests? <coughs> well, not to worry. We're going to fix that right now. So I have a test here that I want to run. And this test is going to open, or at least try to open, the Chrome browser. Let's see what happens when I run the test. You were hopefully able to see that the browser did open, but only momentarily, and then it closed back down. And we're presented with all this red all over the screen. What is going on here? Let's take a look at this. And what we see here is a session not created exception. This obviously comes from the Selenium package. And this is our error right here. Let me click over here so that we can see the error message. And it's telling us that it cannot start the session because the version of Chrome driver only supports Chrome version 114. And what some people will focus on is on this right here, Chrome driver. Some of you guys may still be managing the Chrome driver manually. If you are, please stop doing that. Check out the video card above to learn about Selenium Manager, which manages the driver automatically for you. In this project, I am not managing the Chrome driver manually. I'm also not using WebDriver Manager. I simply rely on Selenium to take care of that for me. So what is this really saying here? Well, when it says this version of Chrome driver, it's really referring to the version of Chrome driver that Selenium is trying to use. In this case, it's saying 114. So Selenium is trying to use version 114, but it's saying that it could not create the session. And that usually happens when Selenium tries to use a different Chrome driver version than the one that is currently available by the browser that you have installed on your machine. So let me bring up Chrome here, and I'm going to check the version that I have here. So I'm going to click on these three dots up here and go to help, and then about Chrome. Notice that I'm on version 116. That means that there's an incompatibility issue here because Selenium is trying to use 114, but the one that's available on my computer, it's 116. So how do we fix that? So let me go take a look at the palm file to see what version of Selenium I'm using. And as you can see here, I'm using Selenium version 4.10.0. Now, let me show you something cool. We're going to do a web search and we're going to search for Selenium change log. I'm going to select the first result right here from GitHub. Okay, and this is what I see here. Don't worry about this saying Java here. What I'm about to show you here usually applies to other language bindings as well. So what I want to look for is the version that I'm on. I said that we are on version 4.10. So I'm going to scroll down here. Version 4.10 says supported CDP version. What is CDP? CDP stands for Chrome Developer Tools Protocol. And that's what really Chrome driver does. It communicates with the developer tools protocol to drive the browser. And we see that the supported versions are 85, 112 through 114. And that is correct. If you go back to the project, we're going to see here that it says that the version supported is 114. And that's expected because we're using this version of Selenium, 4.10. Now, since the Chrome version that we have installed on the computer is actually version 116, we need to look for that corresponding CDP version. So if I scroll up here, I'm going to see that the next available version is 4.11. And that one supports up to CDP 115. That's not good enough for me. Remember, we're looking for 116. So let's scroll up and we see Selenium version 4.12.0 and that one does support up to CDP 116. So I'm going to let you guess what we're going to have to do here. Hmm? If you guessed that we need to upgrade our Selenium version to 4.12.0, then you're correct. By upgrading our Selenium version to the latest version, we will be able to have access to the latest CDP version, which is 116. That will correspond to the browser version that we have installed, also 116. So let's go ahead and do that. In my palm file, I'm going to change this 4.10 to 4.12, and then I'm going to update this project here. And the problem you may run into is this one here, where Maven is trying to fetch this version 4.12.0, but is unsuccessful. Okay, so this Selenium repo is saying that 4.12.0 is the latest version. MVN repository, I see that the latest available version is 4.11, which tells me that probably 4.12 will soon be released, or at least not available on this MVN repository. So that's fine. We're going to get the latest available version in this case. Let's go with 4.11. Let me just add one more thing about this version issue. I know I said that we needed to get Selenium version 4.12 in order to have access to the CDP 116. However, if we look here, 4.12 is not available, but that's okay. As long as you're getting whatever the latest version here is, you should be good to go. And that is because the Chrome version may not be directly linked to the CDP version at all times. Let's move on now. So let's go back to the project and change this to 11. And this time we see no errors. Now that we have upgraded our Selenium version successfully, let's go ahead and rerun the test and see what happens.
And there we see that the test ran successfully. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions regarding this. I would love to be able to help you out. See you in the next one.